I got wood. Literally. Let's talk about the Axis, shall we? Hey, Louie. Yeah, you! Thanks, brother. Louie's the guy that sent the Axis to me for review. He's actually got two vapor shops out in Cali. One, the Vapor Shop and Lounge, and two, the Vape Town. Look how beautiful this thing is. It's made of a wood called Camagong, a.k.a. Iron wood. A little history lesson for you boys and girls. First of all, camagong is a species of wood made from the mabalo tree, which is native to the Philippines. Now it's been said that camagong can dull a chainsaw in no time flat. <laughs> If that's the case, that's some serious shit. Martial artists in the Philippines have been using camagong sticks for generations now. So from what I've read, they're first taught empty-handed training. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and once they've mastered that, they level up to camagong sticks as merely an extension of their own hand. So from what I'm reading right here, it is considered a masterclass fighting stick perfectly combining speed, strength, and durability. Legend has it that these martial arts masters would use the Camagong stick in matches where they would fight to the death. Whoa! Had to share the history behind the wood. Back to the Axis. This box mod is made of the same slick, smooth, dense, almost marble-like wood. Slicker than a minnow's willy. First the pros. The chip in this device has a 16 amp limit, okay? And that's capable of vaping up to 76.8 watts. Turn her up a little bit. Beast! Since this thing right here holds two 18650s, the battery life is crazy good. For example, I've got a .4 ohm build in this Castle RDA right now, and I'm able to get 12 hours of vape time. 12 hours of regulated vape time. Love it! It's got a voltage dial on the side, okay? You adjust your voltage with this little dial. I'm gonna show you guys all this stuff in the close-ups. The fire button is nice and springy fires every time I press the button. It's not clicky, but I'll tell you what, this damn thing is comfortable. One of the most comfortable fire buttons that I've dealt with on any mod. But you know what? All that's subjective. It's just my speed. The build quality of this device is absolutely superb. 10 out of 10. You've got these four grips right here on the side of this mod, kind of like a pistol grip. It's really, it's super comfortable. On the back panel, you've got a sliding door, okay? It's secured by magnets. Every single line on this device is cut to perfection. The engravings on the front, I mean, I'm gonna show you all this in the close-ups, but the engravings are nice and deep engravings, thick engravings, mint. Just clean, clean, clean. It has an adjustable pin at the 510 terminal, which allows you to make connection with all of your addies and adjust each one of your addies to sit flush. That's also including all of your tank systems as well. And that leads me to the 510 plate up top. You've got these grooves, and that's for your bottom airflow systems, like your clear miser tanks, etc. The chip in this device has safety features, which we'll go over in more detail in the close-ups. But also, the circuitry up here, I have to mention this. The circuitry, you don't ever see it, okay? It's sealed off, it's neat, it's tidy. I don't like seeing a bunch of wires hanging around, you know, in some of these devices, some of these box mods especially, you see all the wires hanging around. You don't see that with this. Another pro for you sub ohm vapors out there, okay? If you're a sub ohm vapor, this is a huge pro. You could vape at super low resistance builds. For example, the lowest that I've been able to vape with this device has been around a 0.16, 0.17 build. That's freaking low. Gotta be a pro, right? Now the cons. Just like I mentioned before, this thing is made for your sub-ohm vapor. Anything below 1 ohm, this thing is a treat. I noticed that anything above 1 ohm, 1.2, 1.3, 1.4, definitely above 1.8, and the vape quality diminishes. It's not made for that. It's made for your sub-ohm vapors, okay? 0 0.16, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4. Those builds this thing's made for. Just like I mentioned, it's got a 16 amp limit, and it vapes between 2 and 5 volts. Anything above 1.8 ohms, uh -uh. Not for you. And I gotta mention that as a con because there's a lot of guys out there that like to vape 1.8 ohms and higher. Con number two, you are not able to see your preferred voltage unless you hold down the fire button. Just like I mentioned before, I've got my Castle RDA on here. I've got a 0.4 ohm build. Right now, it's uh, showing at 3.7 volts. The only way that I could see the volt setting I've set it to with this dial over here is if I press the fire button. So the only way for me to adjust 
the voltage is by turning that dial while I'm pressing the fire button. But the screen only shows voltage. It doesn't show wattage. It doesn't show your resistance. It's very one dimensional. And that leads me to my third con for this device. This mod is not made for a newbie vapor. Okay, hence variable voltage. This only offers variable voltage mode, which means you have to know where to set your voltage to the resistance of the Addy you're using on this device. If they made this device where it gave you a variable wattage option or it was just variable wattage, then you know that would be better. But it's variable voltage. You gotta set it in manual mode. Can't recommend it to a newbie, gotta be mentioned as a con. So those are the pros and the cons for the Axis. Now I'm gonna show you guys the close up of what this device looks like, how it works, all the goodies. You ready? Let's do it. Okay, so here's the Axis right here. And just take a good look at this bad boy. I mean, look at the lines. Look at the grain. The quality is just A+. Plus. A+, plus in my book. Just like I mentioned, this thing is made of Camagong wood, also known as iron wood because the wood is so freaking strong. I mean, it's, it's, it's solid. Solid, solid, solid. Look at the engraving. Um, this device is CNC machined, and as you can see with the engraving, look how deep that engraving is along with the rest of the lines. You got this four finger grip, kind of like a pistol grip. There's your 510 connection. You've got your 510 plate. You've got the grooves for your bottom fed airflow devices like your clear misers, etc. And then at the 510 pin, it's adjustable. So you can adjust that pin just like I mentioned to fit to make connection with all your addies to make sure that all your addies sit flush. You got your stainless steel fire button, okay? And this button, Hear that? It's not clicky at all. It's real springy. It's real comfortable. Everything about this fire button, I love it. Every time I hit that fire button, it fires right up. She's just a beaut. Here's your variable voltage dial. You turn it to the right, it increases the voltage. You turn it to the left, it decreases the voltage. I see this right here? This is your magnetic battery cover. Slides right off like that. You've got your magnets right here. There's the magnets on the device itself and at the end. And now this works is it just slides right in. Oh yeah. So inside there you've got your serial number, you've got your gigantic springs for your battery, and then up here is where your circuitry is. Now we can't get in there, but you know what? I'm okay with that. As long as I don't see those wires flopping around, everything's neat, everything's tidy. I mean, that's what you're paying for. Okay, this takes dual 18650s. You wanna make sure you only use high amp batteries in pairs. 30 amp per battery is recommended like your VTC4s and your VTC5s. In this case, I'm using VTC5s. Now where your circuitry is, it houses the TI chip, which is what I'm told by Louie is a converter made in Thailand and modified for vaping in the Philippines. The chip has a 16 amp limit, like I just told you before, and is capable of vaping up to 76.8 watts. Back to the 510 connection. It's got a high temperature 510 insulator to keep everything from overheating up top. Okay, so now we got our batteries in here. Here is the LED voltmeter screen. Okay, that's on one side. You've got your voltage dial on the other, just like I showed you before. You've got your fire button. And how this works is, as you fire that button, you can adjust your voltage dial to the right Take the voltage up, okay? You can adjust the voltage down by turning that dial to the left. And this thing vapes from two to five volts. If I wanna take her all the way to five volts, I could do so. Oh yeah, so I'm gonna screw my Addy on there. Right now she's firing at 3.7. Take her up. Oh yeah, she's humming, boy. Oh man, just like I mentioned, here are the safety features. Now, you've got over current protection. The chip will shut down if your batteries can't handle the resistance of the Addy you are using. If you're anything lower than 0.16, it's not gonna be able to handle it, it's gonna automatically shut down. You've got short circuit protection, okay? So if your build is shorted in any way, it won't fire. It's got thermal auto shutdown, anything over 80 degrees, and this thing will not fire. You see this gap right here? 
I can make it to where this Addy sits flush, but I don't, okay? I'm using Canthal right now, and I find that with Canthal, it heats up and it stays hot really long. Now, last night, I had this device sitting flush. I took 20, 20 pulls in a row because, you know, I was chain vaping. It heated up super hot, and it shut down on me. And I noticed that over time using Canthal, that can be a pain in the ass, especially if it's sitting flush, because as it's sitting flush, it's going to make the whole device hot. The reason why I have this gap is I can go a lot longer. It doesn't ever heat up the device to where it shuts down. Okay, back to battery life. Now with these two 18650s in here, I can go for it ever forever like i said 12 hours i can go 12 hours at least and that's with a 0.4 ohm build 12 hours before my battery starts to shut off this led screen it will start to blink once your batteries start running low measurements in length from the tallest point to the lowest point this device is 126 millimeters and width this is 50 millimeters and in depth this is 27 millimeters. That is the Axis, boys and girls. How much is this device? And if Louie hadn't sent this to me for review for free, would I have purchased it? First of all, this device is $280 shipped. And yes, I would have purchased it. If he hadn't sent it to me for review, I definitely would have purchased it because I like nice things that perform at a top-notch level. And even though it vapes at variable voltage mode, I know how to set my variable voltage to the resistance I have in the Addy I'm using. That's easy peasy for me. I've been doing this for so long. It's like second nature. I don't need variable wattage, guys, but it'd have been better if it were variable wattage, but that's not a deal breaker for me. Oh yeah, before I let you guys go, <laughs> Louie provided me with his personal number. Okay, here it is right here. He said to give him a call. Give him a call if you want to order one of these. If you're interested, do it. This is Rip Trippers, and remember, smoking is dead, vaping is the future, and the future is now.